What's up guys, this is Zach Campbell coming to you from Yankee Stadium and it's a Watch With Zach game and this will be my last regular season video of the season. So, right here, this is the man of the hour, this is James, say hey to YouTube. Hi YouTube. So, you are how old? 13. And you play what position? Center field mostly. If this guy can play center field, he's fast, he's good at catching. Hey, be quiet, we're trying to film a video out here. So, unfortunately, there is no batting practice today. They played a late game last night. It's a one o'clock start today, so we're gonna try to find some way to make it happen, get some toss-ups before the game, hopefully. You've gotten some balls before, how yes, many? 22. Double digits, literally. So anyway, this place is gonna open soon. We're out here outside gate four. And uh, yeah, you ready for it? Yeah. Here we go. Nice little flurry of activity for us down by the Rays dugout. We got three baseballs, and I'm very embarrassed because I dropped one of them, but in my defense, that ball was thrown right into the sun. I couldn't see it at all. It smacked off the palm of my glove. I think I've proven over the years that I'm able to catch baseballs, but that one just was a complete disaster for me. One of the balls that I got was thrown by Rodney Linares, a coach for Tampa. As for the other two, one was a random employee, maybe a coach threw you one? Uh, I think it was the employee. Oh, same guy? Yeah. So we'll take a look back at our own video later. I'll put a list in the description of all the balls we get today, at least as far as we know. And the Rays pitching staff, they're playing catch now. So this shirt that I just lent James, definitely coming in handy. So let's head down that way and see if we can get one more. The communities and encourage people to get vaccines. All 30 clubs will have at least one. Keep your surgical spine surgeons standing side by side. Fellow Z. Sure, let's do it. Thank you. Yeah. It sold out already. <laughs> what, the FOCO? Yeah. Thanks, Brett. Yeah, they just, it just came out. James, let's see that. Oh, who's, who am I taking a photo with? <laughs> you? Why are you looking out? <laughs> and, and, and we're all, because, I'm, because I'm famous too, Brett. And we're all photobombing. <laughs> What's up, brother? How's it going? Exactly. How you been, man? Doing all right. You can't, uh, we didn't take BP. Did they take BP today? No. Oh. So, no BP two days in a row. So let me ask, is there, is, is there a certain home run you're after today or what? Well, Nelson Cruz, his next one is 450. 450. You think he's going to want that one back? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure if someone catches it, though, it's going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Hey, good, good to luck. see you, man. Good to see you. Hey, he's, a, he's a big fan of you. Can you get a picture with you? Yeah, What's up? Brett Phillips is one of the nicest professional athletes you will ever meet. Super cool guy. I've known him for a number of years, and I had a great interaction with him. He signed autographs for a ton of people, went all the way down the left field foul line, and James got him on a baseball. And we got another autograph as well. Chris Mazza, a pitcher. So tip of the cap to the Rays for being fan friendly. And you can see those two baseballs right here. A nice close up shot, the ones that James got. And so, you know, we changed our plans. The last time I talked to you guys, I said, oh, the whole pitching staff is playing catch. We'll try to get another baseball. But then we saw them signing autographs. So we just kind of went with the flow. You got to be adaptable, right? That's, that's the key to success in collecting. So nice job. And for right now, we still have about 
half an hour until the game starts. So, I think we might get something to eat. What do you have in mind? So, like, it's totally ice cream or something. Anytime sugar and dessert is involved, I am so happy. I'm glad you suggested that. Yeah. So let's go make it happen and we'll take it from there. We have been wandering all over the place today. We saw the Yankees take the field from the right field foul line, and then we headed all the way around to left field because Nelson Cruz has 449 career home runs, and it would be great to catch number 450. Now on the top of the first, Brandon Lau hit a three-run homer. So that's a bad sign for the Yankees. And the Yankees are on the cusp of clinching their spot in the postseason. Their magic number is one just to make it, and their magic number is two to secure home field advantage for the wild card game. So, uh, we're gonna jump back down to the left field seats in just a second. Lots of good right-handed batters in this game. You got your glove ready. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, whole lot of baseball ahead of us. having himself quite a week in the first three innings of this game. He's now two for two with a pair of three-run homers. Yankee fans are not too happy about that. And then, adding insult to injury, Mike Zunino blasted a solo shot. Those two guys combined now have 71 home runs this year. And so bottom of the third, Razor on top, seven to one. Not looking good for the Yankees. And as for us, well, we've scooted on down to the front row. There's a little more space down here. Nelson Cruz coming up next inning. I feel like we're way too shallow for him, but we'll see what happens. fun at the Yankees' expense, and it is getting ugly here in the Bronx. Brandon Lau now has three home runs. The Rays have scored 12 runs. It's 12 to two in the seventh inning, and that's not it. Yandy Diaz is also trolling Yankee fans. The Rays have this four outfielder shift for Joey Gallo, so Diaz is playing third base, except when Gallo is up, and basically his back pocket has been out fans have been getting on him and he's having fun with the fans so it's actually fun to see but geez this is a laugher right now this is embarrassing and the Yankees are 
in danger of not making the postseason. They really just needed to win one game this final weekend, and it might not happen. It looks like they're about to lose two in a row to the Rays. So, uh, yeah, top of the seventh right now. There's another hit. Randy Arozarena, 93.1 mile an hour exit velo. You can hear the fans groaning. Oh, this is just. Uh, this is this is scary. But I will say this: a lot of fans have left, and Brandon Lau will come up to bat once more, going for his fourth home run of the game. So, James. Yeah. We gotta go out to right field, don't you think? For sure. Try to catch that ball, because that would be historic. So that's our plan for right now. We'll hang here a bit longer and then heading out to the short porch. final here in the Bronx and this was an ugly game for the Yankees. They got totally shellacked by the Tampa Bay Rays and for the Yankees man they are making things more interesting than they hoped coming down to the very final day of the regular season. Of course by the time this video gets posted it will all be decided but being here at the stadium right now there's a whole lot of question marks and for us me and James it was a pretty fun day, despite the results on the field, but we got to tell everybody the final score. We're here, we got to tell them, so I'm going to let you be the bearer of bad news. Rays 12, Yankees 2. Yeah, and do you know how many hits each team had? The Rays had 19, and the Yankees had 4. 19 to 4. If you can hear the sorrow in his voice, diehard Yankee fan right here, right? Yeah. We still have one more shot tomorrow. By the way, the Rays had more home runs today than the Yankees had hits. Five home runs for the Rays, three from Brandon Lau. Wish we'd been sitting out in right field for the whole game, but it was crowded. Anyway, we combined for three baseballs. You got one of them, yeah. which brings your lifetime total to 23. Uh -huh. Which Yankee great war number 23? Not That's it. The two for me bring my lifetime total to 11,640. Who wore that number? What? Yeah, exactly. I don't think anybody. Oh. No, there are no uh, five-digit numbers on the backs of uniforms. Um, everybody watching this video, if you want to do a Watch With Zach game, check the description. I'll throw a link there to some FAQs. That explains how all this works. So read that before you get in touch. Probably no more opportunities this year to do a Watch With Zach unless we maybe do something in the postseason, but that's a little tricky. So, uh, yeah, check that description. I'll also put a list of the three baseballs. Again, we got to try to figure out who tossed the one to James. Big thanks to James's mom, Tony, who's sitting just a few feet that way, hooking this all up. So, that's it, man. You're going to be here tomorrow. Uh, probably. I'm going to be here tomorrow. I don't think I'm filming a video on the last day of the regular season, but maybe see you. Yeah. We'll connect again. We'll stay in touch. All right. Great hanging. And, you know, hopefully the Yankees pull one out tomorrow. I still think the Yankees will make the postseason. That's my prediction. Anyway, we are out of here. Thank you guys for watching.